So, you like distraction-free, minimalist word processing? Well, let me show you how to word process on Haiku like it's 1984. We have a terminal, right? So, what we're going to do is terminal, we're opening another one. Oh, sorry. Make it F for full screen. Go for broke. And we run the program Word Grinder. Let's see what happens. See now, obviously, you would put this line in a shell script and so that you can put it in the menus, etc. And we get one complete full screen. with two lines and some triangles. Well, Word Grinder is a character mode word processor. And we can start typing. I only have to remember one key to get to the commands. That is escape, which gives you your menu. Now you probably think this is a text editor. No, it is not. You can actually set italic, underline, bold, and change back to plain. But unfortunately, the Haiku terminal does not display these things very well. And in fact, we can escape to go out of the menu and bring it up again. As a matter of fact, uh, Word Grinder has something up its sleeve. It's got document sets. So that's one file containing a number of documents. So if you're writing a book, then, uh, well, you can have one file, which is your document set, containing your chapters. So that's actually quite innovative. All right, you can save templates, right? There are settings you can do. And... You can find and replace, you can smart quotify. All right, what else can you do here? Okay, you can have several documents open and uh, skip between them. Obviously, I only have one at the moment. But let's open up another one. Uh, file. Right, add new blank document, call it test two. Right, now we should be able to switch between them. So, if we look at this, uh, right. Style, set bold. Uh, if you look very, very closely, it may be a little more bold than usual. But a haiku terminal doesn't do bold very well. Set plain. Yeah, you can see it, you can see it. Let's try italic. Set italic. Uh, that one I don't see. And set back to plain. 
Uh, let's try underline. Well, that one comes out nicely. Italic doesn't really work. Bold is barely noticeable. Now, the codes are in there. So when you export this to HTML or ODT, which Word Grinder can do, then you will see italics. But right now it's... Mm. Okay, uh... So I would suggest you play around with this because it really is uh, very interesting to go back to your DOS roots and work in a character mode word processor. Yeah, that's nothing like it. Now, this is not as advanced as the... DOS versions of WordPerfect or uh, MS Word, you know, or oh, we had so many back in those days. And uh, <clears throat> but even so, this is you no, know, just nice to know that it can still be done, even if italics doesn't look very good. Right, so you will see in the menu as well that a lot of these things do have shortcuts keys. These are control keys. And the, there's quite a lot of navigation shortcuts actually. So the, it works with its own uh, let's see what happens here. Desktop save as uh, downloads and we call this set one. Set one, there you go. Set one, WG. And now I can create another document within set one, WG. And when the time comes to send your masterpiece to a publisher or wherever it is you send these things, well, then you can export it. Uh, there we go. Export it to ODT, HTML, Markdown, plain text, latex, and trough. Right. Okay, I only really experimented with the ODT and it did give me a bit of a problem because when Haiku tried to identify that file for some reason it thought it was a zip and I had to change the file type manually. So that's not perfect but uh, oh, let's export this to HTML. Alright some reason we're now on downloads okay that's fine uh, let's call this test okay let's get out of here and so let's escape file exit Let's see what's going on in downloads. Ah, 
Okay, so the italic doesn't quite come through, but bold and underline work well. Right, so of course you don't have to be full screen and if you really want that retro experienced then you use the retro theme and now if we say Let's load a document set. Desktop, downloads. Okay, so italic is something that needs to be worked on. And let's just check the terminal settings. Okay, it's important to have this allow bold text switched on. And, well, I think most people will say, ah, oh, that's like going back to the Stone Age. Well, for those of us who came from the Stone Age, it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. But we have to admit that the word processes we had way back then were better than this. You know, this is the only text-based word processor from that comes to us from the Linux world basically and uh, makes you wonder would it be possible to run a DOS based text editor in Haiku because those old things had a lot going for them Watch the space. <laughs>